Good morning everyone, today is a Nikkei video. I am gonna start covering this game because I am pretty addicted to this game. I really, really like Nikkei. And so I'm gonna be sharing a little bit of information as I have done a lot of research and uh, a lot of mistakes about this game. So I don't want you guys to make the exact same mistakes that I've been making. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the no caller ID event. So when we go to our events over here, you're gonna see right here, there is the no caller ID. So you're gonna click on it in order to get into this event thing. And what I wanna point out is in the shop over here, you can see that you can purchase these sound sources. So what exactly are these sound source? These sound sources allow you to run extra runs in the war zone area. As you can see over here, I'm cleared all the way to 1-10. But if you look at the bottom right, in five days and one hour, they're actually gonna unlock the hard mode. And once hard mode is unlocked, you're gonna be able to farm for even more of those currencies. So let us look at what we can actually buy with the currency. When we go to the shop over here, you can see that there are a lot of really cool items. You know, we've got some advanced recruitment vouchers. We've got some of the high quality mold. And basically there's a bunch of really nice stuff over here, which you can pick up. And the nice thing is you can purchase like 90% of the things from the shop by just completing all of the missions once. So remember up here where I'm tapping, you actually get five of these entries every single day. So I do recommend that you use all five entries because you can't overstack every day you just get five. And after you complete all of these stages over here, you can go back over here and go to mission. And once you open up the mission tab, you can see that you actually get a lot of this event currency for completing all of those stages. Now you can see here that the hard mode stages have not unlocked yet. As I said, five days and something before these are open. So we can't do any of these yet. But when I claim all, you can actually see that I got what, like 2,700 of these. So I have a lot of these signal things, which I can go to the shop. And first thing I'm of course gonna buy out is gonna be the advanced recruitment vouchers. So boom, let's buy all of them. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to buy all 10. I only got seven of them, but it's okay. I still have one of these entries so I can enter the war zone. The thing about 1-10 though, is you can see that my team's power is not quite up to snuff yet. I am still below the recommendation. And in case you guys didn't know, if your battle power is below the recommendation, they actually nerf your characters a little bit. And depending on like how big the difference is, it nerfs your characters significantly. But we can see over here that I'm about like 700 battle power difference. So uh, we're gonna give it a shot and see if we can actually beat it. Now the way that I do it is I play this game very, very casually. I basically put it on full auto and the only thing that I would do here on this boss fight specifically is maybe when he does his like super move then I might pay a little bit of attention and actually play manually a little bit and try to stop it but uh, usually I just try to over gear the content so uh, that is my game plan but as you can see here I think we do have a chance maybe he does have 13 bars you can see over here he's shooting these missiles so this part I would do a little bit of manual play just uh, stop all those bombs and then here we go again. Let's go back to the shooting. Oh, wow. My cooldowns are off really quick now. Okay, here we go. Let's use our lifesteal because I did get Helm, by the way. Helm is really, really cool, really pretty. Yeah, let's go. She kind of reminds me of Eula from Genshin. Like, just her look, sort of. I don't know why. And we can see here that there are more missiles. Again, I, I should probably deal with these. Holy crap. All right, good. And you may have noticed that my main DPS is still Rappy because, uh, well, I didn't get anyone cool, so Rappy will just have to do. Oh, we're about to get our Focus Fire. And here we go, Focus Fire enabled, but we need to get rid of all these bombs first. Alright, now we can go back and beat this guy up. Oh, more bombs again. Let's get rid of them. Oh god, why are these bombs so strong? Okay, I don't think we're beating this guy. Um, fortunately, those those bombs are really, really powerful for some reason, and uh, my Rappy is dead. We do have our lifesteal enabled again, but uh, unfortunately, without Rappy, that's a lot of my damage gone. Alright, we stop that. I'm very surprised that the shotgun actually reached that far, to be honest. We might switch over. Let's switch over to our big booba helm over here. We're going to activate our shotgun over here. I think our Drake is going to go up now. Alright, Drake, your time to shine. Let's go. 
Big damage, big damage. Okay. Eh, we're doing good, we're doing good. But I don't think we're gonna make it. He's got nine bars of HP, boom, and stop that, stop that. Perfect. Yeah, we, we only got a minute left. Unless my Drake goes like full insane damage here. But it does not look good at all. Alright. Let's go, Helm. We need to get rid of these high caliber rifles ASAP. Yeah, I can't let my um I can't let my Raffi die this early. Because Raffi died so early, it, it really hinders my uh my damage, unfortunately. Since she was a big part of the DPS. Oh shoot, they stunned my uh <laughs> my uni. Okay, here we go. Drake DPS mode. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, Drake. Beat him up. Beat him up. Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely not going to have enough time. So that sucks. Um, something to keep in mind is it does not actually consume the ticket if you do fail. So I'm just going to show you me failing here. And uh, it's not actually going to use the ticket. So I can use it for something else. All right, Uni. Yep. Oh, why? No, she's stunned! Oh, God. Okay. So, I do need a lot more gear. I need to get my Rappi even more tankier so that she doesn't die so quickly. As you can see, we've got 10 seconds left. It's still got 7 bars of HP, so... We definitely need a lot more gear, a lot more power, a lot more levels before I can stand a chance against this boss. I probably should get rid of his guns first, like a lot quicker, focus fire on those. But as you can see here, uh, when we're gonna go back, you're gonna see that it does not consume my ticket. So you can see right here that I still do have one out of five, even though I just failed this stage. So what you can do if you are stuck on specific stages is just run the previous stages with the repeat symbols. So you can see 1-9 has the repeat symbol, which means that we can do this again. So I'm just gonna do 1-9 to just consume this because the dailies are gonna reset in a couple hours. And so once they reset, I'll get another five tickets. Now, if you do have leftover tickets, what actually happens is you just get five tickets. It doesn't overflow, so it won't give me like six tickets. It'll only give me five. So if I have one remaining sitting from yesterday, then unfortunately I'll only get four tickets for the next day. So you do want to make sure that you use all five tickets. So you can see at 1-9, we are just utterly demolishing the bosses over here. Like, you know, it's super easy because we are above the uh, recommended battle power, which means that all of my units do not get nerfed at all, and we are performing at full capacity and just utterly destroying them. Let's go. Let's go, Helm. ba 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 As you can see, I'm getting insane life steals on my Rappi. My Rappi's getting like 400, 500 HP per shot, and she basically just full heals herself from that. So super duper nice. Boom. You can also see that I got some of that event currency because I have some special characters in my roster. For those who don't know, if you go down here to bonus reward Nikes, you can see if you have Helm, Privity, Arya, Ludmilla, Mary, as well as Rappi, you get different percentages in order to get these bonus rewards, which are of course the uh, the event currency. So if you do have a Helm, you want to make sure that she's in the lineup. And yeah, just add in whoever you have over here into your lineup so that you can maximize the amount of the toy signal towers or the event currency that you get. Because if you don't have any any of these characters here when you complete any of these missions you won't get any of the event currency the only event currency you'll get is through the challenge achievements over here if you don't use any of the featured Nikkei's over here so you want to make sure that some of these Nikkei's are actually in your lineup now as for these sound sources I don't recommend buying them until hard mode is released and if you do need to farm a little bit of extra event currency then you can purchase these and then use it on hard mode in normal mode I don't think it is worth it because of you know you don't get that many of the event currency and you are limited to the amount of sound sources or the attempts that you can do per run so you really want to make sure that you maximize as much resource you can gain from each run 
But yeah, that covers the no caller ID event. In my next video, I'm probably going to go over team compositions because a lot of people seem to be very confused. They're looking at tier lists. They're just getting all the S tier characters and they're still having trouble progressing through the story. As you can see here, my lineup isn't anything special. I have Rappi, Uni, Helm, Neon, as well as Drake. Now, Drake is just a fill. Like, I don't really need Drake there. I can fill it with anything else I want. In the beginning, I was actually using Diesel for the longest time. But basically, you can see that you get Rappi, you get Neon for free. So that's two characters set right off the bat. And then, you know, Uni and Helm, I got lucky and I did get these characters. But uh, you don't have to use these. The main thing that you are going to be looking at is going to be the cooldowns of their abilities as well as what on earth their abilities are. And of course, what weapons they use. Now, I will cover all of this in a future video because I don't want this video to be way too long. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! What can I say except you're welcome for the heat?